Hello, my name is Jeff Feige. I am the Vice President of Field Sales Engineers here in the United States. Uh, in this relatively short how-to, I'm going to show you how to install the iGel UMS, the awesome iGel UMS 5.03.100 on Ubuntu 16.04.1 LTS, 64-bit. Uh, I am installing this. Uh, this is a perfect style installation so I will be installing the operating system uh, as well so you can see how the operating system was set up. Um, I have this running in a virtual machine, virtual environment, Oracle virtual box. Uh, I've allocated 2 gigs of RAM and 20 gigs of storage. You could certainly allocate more but that's a, not a bad place to start. You can manage quite a few thin clients uh, with this type setup. And uh, so, yep, let's get started. So it'll take a few minutes for this to boot up to uh, a GUI for the installation. There we go. So um, I'll need to select English here and click on install Ubuntu. I uh, will go ahead and download the updates while installing. Kind of makes it go a little bit faster. Well, it doesn't make the install go faster, but in the long run it does. I'm going to erase the entire disk because um, there's really nothing else on here. Click on continue. Uh, I'm in New York, so I'm going to select that choose where you are of course uh, US keyboard layout perfect and for username I'm gonna use iGel I'm gonna name the computer iGel RM server and we'll leave the username here and for our password just don't forget that and let's leave uh, require password to log on continue and now this next piece here will take uh, a little bit of time to complete so I'm gonna pause the recording and I will see you when it's done alright uh, now we do need to do a restart of the VM so we'll restart and uh, I'll see you back here when it's uh, done alright so our management server has rebooted we'll go ahead and log in So one of the first things we'll want to do is uh, check our network settings because more than likely it's set up for DHCP. So we'll go down here and click on Edit Connections, pick our wired connection, go in here, make sure that it's set to automatically connect, go to IPv4, let's set a manual IP address, 192.168.0.102, hit Tab to enter the net mask, and it's kind of, um, kind of weird. It, the the uh, uh, the entry dialog is kind of messed up so you'll if you hit tab you are in the next so see all three of them are there 192.168.0.243 set our DNS server and our search domain of course this will be different for you and IPv6 settings let's set that to ignore click on save close and then click on our connection so that it'll reconnect and hopefully get the proper IP address. So let's bring up a terminal and let's uh, log it to the launcher. Let's see what our IP address is. So it looks like we're good there. 192.168.0.102. Fantastic. So the next thing that we want to do is uh, let's go ahead and get our uh, environment updated. So we'll do a sudo apt get update, put in our user's password. All right, and now we will do a sudo apt get dist upgrade to uh, Go ahead and download all the updates that are necessary. So we'll say yes, 
And uh, this will take quite a few minutes, so maybe five, ten minutes, something like that. So um, I will pause this and see you back here in a few minutes. Oh, and while this is going on, let's go ahead and download the management console or the uh, management server installation package. All right. Go to myigel.biz. Go to Universal Management Suite Linux. Scroll to the bottom and let's download 5.03.100. And there we go. It says about nine minutes remaining. So um, I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording and see you back here in 10 minutes on my side anyway. All right. So the download's complete and um, it looks like our update has occurred so that's a real bonus and let's see so now what we want to do is we want to add our 32-bit architecture so we say sudo dpackage add architecture i386 All right, and then we want to install our, well, we might as well do an apt get update too to update the repository or the repository cache. And then we will do um, an install of the components that we need, which are lib32z1, lib 32 n curses 5 lib bz2 1.0 i386 lib xtst6 i386 lib xenorama yeah lib xenorama 1 i386 lib xi6 i386 lib xext6 i386 and then i think one more lib xrender1 i386 so this should only take a second or two looks like i typed everything in correctly hit enter All right, so now we can go to our downloads folder. There's our UMS installation package. We need to make it executable. And then we can sudo setup and uh, watch the setup begin. All right, so the setup's pretty straightforward. We'll hit enter, accept the license. Default path is good. Uh, we don't need to create a backup because we don't have a UMS installed yet. Uh, we'll do a complete UMS installation. Um, this is a legacy piece of information. Again, this is a new install, so it's irrelevant. We'll leave this path as the default for the data directory. Uh, run levels are all good. They can stay the same. Paths are all okay. We want to use the internal database. It's easy enough to switch to an external, but the internal is the easiest to get up and running initially. And we need to enter a database DBM username. So I'm going to use admin, admin, and admin. So it was the username admin and the password uh, also. And we'll hit space and create the shortcut in the system menu, and we'll start the installation. This takes only a couple minutes. Um, we'll let uh, we'll let this go a bit here so you can see what it looks like and then um, I'll pause the video and uh, you can watch it uh, when we're done yeah 
No reason to pause it. It won't take that long. All right. You'll see there's a restarting Igel RM server failed. Um, this is because of uh, system D on this new version of Ubuntu. Um, I don't know if it's their problem or ours, but we do not have a service file. So we need to do one more thing here. Um, we need to edit the Igel RM server boot script. So scroll on down to right here, the init functions, and go ahead and delete all of those lines. Write the file out, and then we'll start the IGEL RM GUI server. You can always see if it's running by checking for the JVSC process which um, does not appear to be running. It's not JVSC, it's JSVC. You have to be smarter than what you're trying to uh, trying to do. So the process is running. <clears throat> we should be able to now go in here and uh, do a search for UMS. Launch the UMS console. Here it's starting up. Takes a second the first time. And there it is. We'll use uh, IGEL RM server for the server name, or you can use localhost as well. We'll type in our username and password for the DBM admin admin. It will ask us to accept the certificate the first time. And it is now connected to the management console. Uh, same thing goes for, well, let's fire this guy back up again and let's lock it to the launcher. Now we can go over here so that way it'll stay there. We can go and now have the administrator console. It'll ask you for the sudo password. And there's the admin console. We'll launch or lock this to the launcher as well. And you are good to go with uh, the IGEL UMS. Um, everything should rock and roll from here out. So I hope this was helpful. And um, we'll see you next time around. Thank you and uh, have a good one.